You know the old saying, teamwork makes the dream work. If that's the case, why do so many of our most terrifying predators work alone? Turns out that's not necessarily true. Many animals out there have their own version of the A-Team, and they're pretty much all Mr. T. From the notorious wolf pack to an intense wild dog army, let's take a look at 15 unbelievable strong pack animals in the wild. <sighs> Number 15. The Wolf Pack. Obviously, we had to feature the wolf pack on our list. These animals are notoriously good at working together to take down just about any potential target. There's a reason that you don't want to just randomly approach a wolf and become friends with it. It'll kill ya. The reason the wolf pack is so strong comes down to that old classic saying, teamwork makes the dream work. In this case, the dream is killing other living things so we can eat. But I think the phrase still works. The wolf pack has a very distinct social structure and rules for those within it. The pack leaders are the alpha animals dominant over all other wolves in the pack. If anybody has a problem with that, well, they probably shouldn't voice it out loud, if you get my drift. As for the rest of the wolves, they're fiercely loyal and devoted to the pack above all else. Life in the wolf pack is all about dedication. The wolf pack is one of the most formidable animal groups in the world. These animals are so intelligent, so dangerous, and so good at working together that there's very little chance of an animal escaping. Unless, of course, you're Liam Neeson. In that case, you have a shot. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. African Wild Dogs the key to being a successful and strong pack of animals is all about strategy and teamwork. You'll never succeed if you're busy trying to be the action hero of the group, or if you're not quite feeling it today. African wild dogs have apparently experienced that multiple times because they have a ritual to ensure it doesn't happen. Before heading out on a hunt, African wild dogs like to participate in a pretty intense rally ceremony. The idea behind the ritual is to get all of the members alert and ready to hunt for their daily meal. Unlike some pack animals though, African wild dogs have a pretty good strategy in place to catch their targets. Rather than just charging in and attacking, the wild dogs get into a defensive formation, ensuring that their prey has no straightforward method of escape. Within seconds, the dogs can take down their prey and chalk all of this up as another productive day. I'm not sure I can relate to that, but I'm glad they have a good time. Interestingly enough, this is one pack species that doesn't have any role specialization or social structure. Pretty much all the dogs in the pack are on the same equal footing, doing the same job. So I guess this is the animal 9 to 5. You won't get this kind of insight from David Attenborough. Number 13. Hyena. Hyenas are generally known to be the psychos of the animal community, and yeah, that sounds right to me. But while it can often seem that these animals often have no real plan of attack, the hyena clan is actually very well prepared. They're just really good at improvising, but, you know, with more violence. When targeting large prey, hyenas have no choice but to work as a group. Animals much larger than them could wipe them out in a matter of seconds, so it requires a lot of careful planning and organizing. And by planning, I mean locate the weakest or youngest animal in a given herd. Lions and hyenas often have something of an overlap in their territories, so it's not uncommon for a pack of hyenas to work their little butts off to get some food, only to have a couple of lions come in and steal it at the last minute. That's just bad luck. Hyenas are rightly known to be some of the most gleefully violent and insane animals on the planet, but they're also team players and they can take down some impressive animals when they truly work together. The Lion King could have gone very differently. Number 12. Killer Whales 
You may not know that the killer whale is a pack animal, but it's absolutely true. These are some of the biggest animals in the world, and even they recognize that working together can benefit everybody. Except, of course, the poor fish that finds themselves in the stomach of a whale, they're probably regretting some life choices. Killer whales have been referred to as the wolves of the sea, because they tend to focus on the young and the weak when picking on larger targets. That and like wolves, they will start ramming and attacking that animal until eventually they can consume the best parts before leaving the rest of the body for scavengers. But there's also another strategy, which is straight out of the wolf playbook. The killer whales will chase down an entire pod of underwater animals, get into formation, and charge the pod. pinning the target in shallow water before, uh, well, uh, you know what comes next. It's not pretty. Small fish don't really do much for the killer whale, forcing it to seek out these larger prey animals. That could be a problem if the whale didn't already have a team behind it. Thankfully, every living thing knows you don't mess with anybody that has the word killer in their name. Number 11. Lioness. In the lion community, the female is the true hero. She's the one who must go out, hunt for food, and bring it back to provide for her family. But given that we live in an unpredictable world, lionesses know that success comes in numbers. So she assembled a crew, not unlike a heist movie, to capture and bring back some food. Guess how it turns out. The lioness strategy is an impressive and highly intelligent one. Rather than simply rushing to the target or overwhelming them, them, the lions get into groups of three to seven individuals and split into two roles, centers and wings. While the centers lay in ambush position, the wings will run to the sides of the target, circling the mark and driving that unsuspecting prey toward the center, who attack. <laughs> Obviously, this is a terrifying experience for the prey, who's pretty much dead by the time it realizes what happened, but you have to admit, it's a pretty intelligent and well-orchestrated strategy. We already knew that lionesses were a force to be reckoned with, but who knew they were so good at strategy? If they could, they'd probably be pulling off bank heists left and right. And honestly, who's going to arrest a lion? Not me. I'm a voiceover guy. It's not part of my job responsibilities. Number 10. Chimpanzee Considering that they're such highly intelligent animals, we probably shouldn't be too surprised that chimpanzees lack to work as a team. But the way they work together is so intricate, you could easily mistake it for an all-chimpanzee football team. Prepare to root for the home team, guys. When working as part of a pack, chimpanzees have highly specialized roles for themselves. They can participate as a driver, blocker, chaser, or ambusher. I think they're all pretty self-explanatory, but here's a quick overview. Drivers follow the prey, blockers block their escape, chasers chase, obviously, and ambushers anticipate the escape route to force it back toward the ambushers. It's like a game of chess, only it has a much more brutal ending than me flipping the board in frustration. And in true chimpanzee style, any chimp can play any role. There are no rules that dictate who has to do which part. So a chimp having a bad day can feel free to chase down the prey to get his frustrations out if it so desires. Chimpanzees are obviously highly intelligent animals, and this is a highly intelligent strategy. Pretty much any method that sees animals handing off into individual roles to one another is a surefire way to get results. It's why I love my chimpanzee accountant. That's a joke, people. He's actually an owl. Number 9. Elephants who in the right mind would set out to anger an elephant, you may be thinking? I know, but some animals will absolutely do just that. And if there's anything you don't 
want when you're out there in the wilds? It's a pack of angry elephants hunting you down in the middle of nowhere. Elephants are highly social animals, which means their pack dynamics are incredibly strong. If you've ever seen a nature documentary, you'll know that an attack on one is an attack on all. And if you're stupid enough to do that, you're going to be on the receiving end of a whole herd of angry elephants coming for you. Elephants, by and large, aren't particularly aggressive animals, but they can be if they feel their young are being threatened. In that case, it's not uncommon to see a whole herd of elephants working together to take out a threat. Think of them like the Avengers, but each of them weighs up to 14,000 pounds. It's a foolish animal that decides to take on a herd of elephants, but foolish animals really do exist. And as I said before, you really don't want to be on the receiving end of an elephant elephant attack. When they assemble, they assemble. You know what I mean? Number 8. Dolphins Everybody knows that dolphins are one of the most intelligent animals anywhere in the world. So this is probably expected. But man, dolphins are amazing at working together. Seriously, it's like they're part of the Olympic team for some incredibly niche sport that nobody else watches. Fishball. When hunting for fish, bottlenose dolphins like to work in groups of three to six. And like most other intelligent animals, they have designated roles to make sure that they succeed in their goals. One dolphin will act as the driver, herding the fish toward the barrier dolphins, which group together to create a tight barrier. The driver will then perform fluke slaps, causing the fish to leap high into the air and straight into the barrier of dolphins' open mouths. What did I say, huh? Does this not sound like a pretty great game of fishball? I don't know about you, but I can really see it taking off. Olympic sports aside, dolphins have always been known as team players, always willing to help one another achieve their goals. It's just that, uh, you know, I don't think anybody expected it to be quite so well orchestrated. Now I just want to play fishball. I'm going to contact the Olympic committee and see what I can do. Watch this space. Number 7. Banded Mongoose The banded mongoose is an interesting animal. Sure, they like to band together and hunt in packs, but they also like their alone time. So I guess this is an example of an animal who likes teamwork, but also wants the team to leave it the heck alone. Yeah, I can relate to that. Mongoose typically are solitary animals, but the banded mongoose isn't. This is the rare species that actually live in a colony with a very complex social structure. However, while they may live with others, that doesn't mean they necessarily work with others, the banded mongoose sets out to forage and hunt in groups. But the word group is kinda misleading. While they're certainly together, Every member of the group searches for its food alone. So I guess that means the teamwork is kind of independent? Clearly, it's not just the social structure that's complex, because this team is, uh, well, it works differently than I'm used to. Even though they may work individually as part of the pack, the banded mongoose is still a pretty strong pack animal. They may be working individually to track down their prey, but they're still functioning as part of a team. Go anger one if you want to see what happens there. I can't promise you'll keep your fingers. Number 6. Killer Bees any kind of bee could be counted as a strong pack animal. That goes without saying. Their social hierarchy and loyalty to their team is without equal in the animal kingdom. But killer bees? In all species of bee worldwide, you don't get much stronger than these little psychos. The Africanized bee, or killer bee, is known to be one of the most defensive and aggressive species of bee in the world. By comparison, the average honeybee is a saint. The killer bee is quicker to react act to disturbances, will chase their targets for up to a quarter of a mile, and have a long history of killing humans and animals thanks to the sheer amount of stings they give. 
Killer bees work together to bring a new level of hell to their victims, and very few living animals could fight them off. If they're out to get ya, there's going to be a lot of them. If you're looking for a pack animal that is strong, relentless, and basically a living nightmare, this is it. Over a thousand people have died as a result of killer bee attacks, so I think we can all agree that these guys are insane. But also, they're excellent at working as a team, a psycho team. Number 5. Cheetah They may be the fastest land animals in the world, but even cheetahs like to stick together. These formidable predators are clearly smart enough to know that teamwork can result in a much bigger success. At least, that's the general belief for cheetah siblings. You gotta protect your brothers, right? Male cheetah siblings tend to form what's known as a coalition, a group of two or three cheetahs to better protect their territories, and each other. While we generally tend to see lone cheetahs out in the wild, that's not a common occurrence when it comes to males. In fact, male cheetahs who do happen to venture out into the world on their own don't tend to last too long. This world is too hostile for a lone male cheetah to succeed, which is kinda crazy since these things run at speed of up to 70 miles per hour, but you know, I guess that's a thought for another time. If cheetahs are able to stick together and protect one another well enough to survive, they can live for up to 12 years in the wild. That's not a bad run. And that's what you get when you work as a team. Take note, everyone! Number 4. Cape Buffalo you can't have a list of the strongest animal packs in the world and not include the Cape Buffalo. These animals are among the most dangerous in the world, so notorious that they even have their own terrifying nickname, the Black Death. They absolutely deserve their place on this list. Alone, the Cape Buffalo is a force to be reckoned with, with a hefty weight and a notorious habit of charging at its chosen prey. There's no living animal in the world that could survive the impact of the charge. However, the Cape Buffalo is not a solitary animal. They almost always prefer to stick with their pack, which is why they're so dangerous. And yet hunters continue to hunt them for trophies and food. Guess what happens? Yep, they don't last too long. Once that pack of Cape Buffalo are mad, you may as well start digging your own grave right then and there. The Cape Buffalo is an animal that sticks with its pack, no matter what. If one is threatened, they're all threatened. And you better believe they will take action to prevent that. If you're not already terrified of the animal known as the Black Death, you definitely should be. Number 3. Piranha if you've ever seen a cartoon in which a character falls into a piranha pit and comes out a skeleton, you have an idea of the damage that this killer fish can inflict. And sure, while cartoons may not be accurate reflections of reality, it's hard to deny that piranhas are pretty scary. Thanks to their outsized jaw muscles, some piranhas have been reported to have the most powerful bite of any animal in history. That means the piranha is more dangerous than lions lions, the T-Rex, and even the Megalodon. Imagine that! As if that wasn't enough reason to be afraid, the piranhas also tend to live in groups called shoals. While you may assume that the piranhas live in these shoals to overwhelm and attack their prey, that's not the case. Actually, the reason for the grouping is to defend themselves against predators because, as we all know, there's strength in numbers. There's nothing more frightening than the idea of a group of piranha coming to get ya. But I'm afraid the nightmare is a potential reality. Guess you're you're just going to have to think twice before you decide to go skinny dipping in a piranha tank, eh? It's like being feasted on by dozens of tiny megalodon. Number 2. Paris Hawks when was the last time you saw more than one hawk hunting in the same place? Never, right? Birds of prey tend to be terrifyingly independent animals. They can't even bring themselves to work with one another, except for the Harris hawk, the only raptor in the world that hunts in packs. While most hawks prefer to go it alone, the Harris hawk prefers to hunt in packs of two to nine individuals. As they hunt, every hawk takes on a different role, depending on the strengths or status. Some hawks with excellent vision may be prey spotters, others may be flushers tasked with scaring the animal into the open, others could be blockers. 
tasked with blocking any potential exit for the prey. Together, they make up a formidable team that can trap and capture their prey like it was absolutely nothing. Now, that's teamwork. The Harris Hawk may be an outlier in terms of the hunting strategy for a bird of prey, but it's clearly onto something. The Hawks share their kills, meaning everybody gets to eat, whether they were the ones to take down the prey or not. We have absolutely no idea why or how the Harris Hawk evolved to embrace this teamwork strategy, but I've said it all along, the A team wouldn't work if they weren't a team. It would just be the A, and who wants to watch that? Number 1. Army Ants Ants have long been known as some of the animal kingdom's most cooperative and well-organized beings, but that really goes double for army ants. A single pack of army ants can be anywhere from 200,000 to 20 million ants strong, making them a truly formidable army that can really achieve almost anything. Known as destroyers, army ants have a tendency to march through the jungle in their battalions, killing pretty much anything that's in their path. If the swarm is strong enough, they'll be able to kill up to a hundred insects, spiders, and maybe even small mammals in a single day. And that's all thanks to their military marches. As the ants march through the jungle, they flush out thousands of animals from the leaves, offering them an all-you-can-eat buffet of animals. Unfortunately, it also makes them a walking target for birds. However, even the birds are smart enough not to mess with the army only targeting the workers that have fled their military duty. Pretty much any kind of ant would be welcome on this list, but the army ant's fearsome reputation among the animal community is hard to ignore. With up to 20 million ants marching strong, it's hard to see a stronger and more fearsome swarm of animals. Maybe the Animaniacs, but they just tend to focus on the Warner movie lot. Which of these animal packs do you think is the strongest? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.